Hi guys, Lady Random here and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. So, diamond chickens coming along nicely. We've got a few, as you can see now, which is cool, which means we're starting to collect all 30, which is all good. Many, many diamonds, plus all the uh, the ones, well, all four of the ones that we're starting to get through from there as well. So that is all good. So that's a nice, decent amount of resources we're actually getting now. And I've... Ooh, Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, I've actually started expanding the chest. We've got our little witch water thing up and running here nicely now. And we are churning away quite happily making soul sand. So what I've done is uh, I've got a chest here where we are loading sand in through a hopper into the top. We have the Ender IO reservoir, which is dead easy to make. Um, literally, we're just looking at fuse cords. So that is your... Uh, uh, yeah, your nether quartz in the alloy smelter um, and a cauldron. That'll give you four blocks of those, which means you have basically an infinite water source. I've just used a fluid transfer node, which again, dead easy. Dead, dead easy to make uh, there. So that is just chiselled stone of any variety. Um, transfer pipes, a couple of bits of redstone and a bucket, and that gives you four of those. So we're just basically pulling out using the transfer pipes into the side of our little uh, wooden barrel there makes our soul sand get our witch water probably see it doesn't animate it in quite the same way as it used to which it used to go kind of red um, when the soul sand dropped in but once the witch water is witchied as it were then the hopper will dispense sand into there and what that will do is then turn it into soul sand that will then be pulled out through this transfer node here and that goes into the chest there so we now have a supply of soul sand so no it is far from beautiful as much of this space is and uh, yeah we definitely need to start looking at getting ourselves a uh, a bit more of a base where we can maybe think about putting some layers in now we actually have the old uh, jet pack up and running um but yeah that's ticking along quite nicely just means we've got a nice supply of mushrooms coming in now so i've just got the storage for those and uh yeah happy days so soul sand this does mean that we can start looking at some of the uh, the other end dry a bits and the stuff that i was kind of interested in looking at was starting to look at the uh, the old inventory stuff so the end inventory system storage um for that we do need some soul sand because we do need to be able to make solarium and bits like that um just as part of some of the things that we we need i think it's for the inventory panel here uh, we need to make a soul binder for which we need solarium and we need other heads as well as zombie heads um so hopefully we should be able to get those and also as well so we can do Oh, but remote, remote, list, from wireless, remote even ones. Um, so we also need to make the sentient ender, which is an ender resonator. So for that we need solarium and more ender heads and enderman heads and things like that. And we need a slice and splice, which again we need solarium for. Um, so that is kind of where we were thinking of starting. Now the other thing that I wanted to do was actually get the um, experience obelisk. Um, which is something that we have been meaning to try and get for ages because at the moment you can see we've got sort of 46 levels. Yes, we have had a, a couple of deaths, um, so we'd have even more if we didn't. But I'm kind of thinking what we should probably do today is get this experience obelisk set up, which means we can get that over, over there and start sort of saving our experience and start getting the, uh, the enchanter and everything like that. So I thought we would look at that today. So for that we need solarium, we need the uh, the machine chassis, so we just need for that iron bars. Um, we need the basic capacitor, which I think we've got a bunch of those made, if I recall. If not, they'll be fairly easy to do, but let's just grab the, the four iron for the minute. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I've got enough iron bars there and the capacitors. Uh, ooh, we've got a double layer one. Okay, so it looks like we do possibly need to make the single layers, but that's okay. 
That is okay, we can do that. Let's grab ourselves a bit of redstone. We might as well make a couple anyway. Uh, we need some gold, is it? Oh, and I'm trying to remember the recipe now. So I think, is it copper and gold nuggets, isn't it? Right, let's just take one of those for the time being. Let's take a piece of copper. I've got a couple of bits of redstone. Uh, we're using that bench, weren't we, to try and make some blocks of fertiliser. So, those there, there. You in the middle. We'll just quickly use you just to break our nuggets down. There we go. So that gives us our basic capacity, which means we should now be able to put together our machine frame. And I've probably done this, as I always do, in completely the wrong order. Yep. Always get this wrong. There we go. So that's one machine chassis. And we need the solarium and we also need an experience rod so I think energetic alloy and solarium we need now solarium should be gold and soul sand so we're needing in total so we need two there and three there so we need five in total but that's fine one two three four five and we'll whiz that over to the alloy smelter I think it's set two alloys. Yep. There we go. So that should start cooking that down. And I think the energetic alloy, have we got... Oh, we've got four of that. That's cool. Excellent. Just get rid of this couple of bits of things here. Serif fertilizer into there. Nuggets, you can go and live there. And let's go and see if we can top up, top up our lava system very quickly while we're here. There we go. It's just a couple more. No biggie. No biggie at all. Let's whack those in there. Okay. How is our solarium coming along? Two. That's good. That means we can get the the rod made. So dead easy. There we go. That is one experience rod. So it's just the three that we need. That's going to take a little while, isn't it? Okay. Well, while that is while that's going, let's do something that we haven't had a look at for a couple of episodes, which is our achievement book, and see if there's actually anything in there that we can uh, we can start ticking off. So let's head head back. So we've pretty much cleared all of that lot. So make obsidian with a stone barrel. Yes, we've done that. Upgrade your mob farm to kill monsters automatically. We have also done that. Enchantless of mess. Now we haven't done that. Uh, capture a cow in a jar, create an inferium seed. No, I do want to do that. Make a watering can, I want to do that. Mattock, no. Essence farm, no. Uh, now we could probably do that. A block of snad. Now I thought, I thought that was a typo. However, let me show you something. Snad is a thing. It's true. It is a thing. Uh, let's grab let's grab these bits out of here anyway because I want to whack a little bit more into here and also a little bit more sand into there but yeah snad is a thing two blocks of sand makes a block of snad so we actually need three of those because we've got three three bits of sugar cane. And what we could probably do actually is uh, let's just take three normal blocks with us. And we'll grab is our jetpack charged up it is. Ooh! And that was something I actually wanted to show you guys. This here. My ring of magnetizing. I am gonna take that with us. I am gonna take that. There we go. That is our solarium. 
boom so that can go into here uh, I've put that in the completely wrong place so don't don't think that gives us our experience obelisk now I'm gonna take that and I'm actually gonna put that just down here actually where the mob farm is and I think we should put it let's put it outside outside of this part I think why don't we go for it here so that means we can now go boom upload all of our levels collect all the enchanted bits that's another six that's awesome um, and we can start looking at maybe getting the uh, the old enchanter now we've got loads of stuff in here now Shh, hush 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 right loads and loads of stuff so I think what we'll probably do is come back at the uh, the end of the episode and we'll do we'll do our loot bags again you can go in there though because I don't want you right now but I'll take you there we go so there we go so that's 47 levels pretty much stored straight off which is very cool indeed but no snad what we're going to do is uh, hopefully be able to get this sorted out quickly is let's just take back all of our sugar cane just for the moment and we're going to pop our jetty pack on and let's fly underneath all oh, my sounds have gone again on it I hate it when it does that right so let us just sort of hover here for a sec uh which ones are you so you must be these ones mustn't you so we can go oh no <gasps> we've just killed a water source that was really stupid that's not what i meant to do at all let's do that let's do that uh, let's do that there how are we doing on fuel oh it's very quickly so it's really quite dangerous oh which way is up there we go let's just come out from here very quickly kind of got that a little bit wrong didn't we okay so let us gather back you and let's gather back you and we can place our first block of snad that will go there yeah that's not quite ready to go yet so let's put that one back because that one needs a block underneath it this one has a block underneath it so we can place a block of snad there like so and hopefully we can break that and oh idiot <laughs> yeah we're so special we're so special uh so let's put you back there let's um Let's put back our dirt block for the moment like so how are we doing for fuel 52 percent let's give it a quick charge actually not that i'm doubting my own jet packing skills or anything well i am completely doubting my own jet packing skills uh stick it back in let's just get it charged up very quickly it shouldn't take too long there we go mentally throw ourselves off of this side again okay so we want dirt there oh no come back what are we like what are we like Oh, we go again this still gives me heart failure going over the edge here okay so right let's hover here break this block and same for here block under there not there oh 
can't. 59% fuel. Okay, let's try this again. Lock there, right. Let's get back over the edge again. Which now means. Now we've finished derping. Snad there. Snad there. Grab this. And we need the water, don't we? Let's get ourselves a bucket of water. And we can take that from our infinite water source here. Our reservoir. Place that there. Which now means we should be able to go doink, 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 doink. And let's just watch how quickly that grows. So in theory that should be pretty fast now. It's either that or we have just made probably something completely pointless. But uh, yeah, there we go. So that is snad. Snad is a thing. Just thought I'd share that with you. Uh, let's pop this. Get rid of the rest of this sand into here. Excellent. Okay. So now we have all of the uh, the ability to make all of the XP, etc, etc. We are in a much better position that we can start sorting the inventory. Um, the reason I want to do it is because the storage drawers are great. But the more of those you have, the more lag you get. Um, being on a server as well does mean that you do get quite a lot of lag. Um, so anything that I can do to sort of avoid that is a good thing, I feel. Good thing in my book anyway. So that is the uh, the intention with that, is that we can, we can avoid that malarkey. We have got an absolute metric crap ton of crap basically haven't we what a lot of crap we have uh you can go there let us quickly put this back into here and i was going to tell you about the magnet um the magnet is um actually additions i believe if i remember rightly and it's pretty cool pretty easy to make as well so it's this here it's a ring of magnetizing so you can see it holds three million rf um and all we need for that is lapis which obviously we've got plenty of now we've got the chickens the red stonia crystal um which we can make and also the inori crystal so inori crystals are uh, basically just the atomic reconstruction and you just chuck iron in there and that gives you your inori crystals so they were awesomely easy to make um, so that does mean that we have less chance of losing everything with the void world well this is in my book growing particularly quickly yeah not really seeing much quickness in that respect but you know far be it from me to criticize but then to be honest with you, have I actually ever really paid that much attention to uh, to how quickly it normally grows? Probably not. I don't think we've actually got... No, we haven't got enough height in order to do that. Um, but yeah, there we go. So as promised, I think what we'll probably go and do now is just go and have a quick look at our wee loot bags and see if we've got anything special. And again, another reason for the... Uh, the requirements for uh, the storage is because of all the stuff that we're actually getting out of these now that's cool we've got three rare so far we have quite a lot of the common which is good so we'll see if we can try and make those into something a bit better so what i'm going to do is just pull back here for a second upload those and let's make ourselves I don't know if we can actually stack these. No, you can't. Make ourselves a few of these with the ones that we've got in there so far. Like so. Three, four, one, two, three, 
four. So though it kind of minimises the amount of loot that we're going to get, we're not going to get quite as much. Hopefully it means that we're going to get better loot by doing it this way. Let's just make sure we haven't had any others. No, we haven't. Perfect. So we've just got two bags open. We've got our rare one. And the rare one is giving us a void crystal. Oh, storage upgrade three. Excellent. That could be useful. And another blue slime sapling. That's pretty cool. And for our epic loot bag, we have got palace crystal pants. Okay. So there's six armour on legs. We've currently got five. So they're not that much better than what we're wearing, really, are they? But what the heck is a palace crystal? Palace crystal. How do we get that? Ah, oh, so that's lapis in the atomic reconstructor. Okay. I'm guessing damage wise it's a little bit better. But yeah, I suppose it's just a different sort of pretty armour, I guess, isn't it? If we're going to look at it. So that's a, yeah, I'm a little disappointed, if I'm honest. A little disappointed. Um, but I'm wondering whether we can actually break any of these things down at all. Whether there's any kind of deconstructor. Uh, it doesn't look like it, does it? Or any kind of recycler. There might be a loot recycler, mightn't there? Okay, so I wonder whether we can actually use this for the stuff that we're actually not wanting. And that will turn us out new loot bag so that is just chisel chest and iron interesting let's let's go have a look at that very quickly i think we've got just about just about enough time she says so it's chiseled stone isn't it we need what have we got in the way of stone five of those i have got a chisel that i made earlier uh, where did I put you, Mr. Iron Chisel? Ah, there you go. So let's chisel ourselves, chisel ourselves a bit of stone. So we need a chest. Easy enough to do. And a piece of iron, which again not a difficult thing to come up with okay so you there like so uh oh i got that a bit wrong I need a couple more are you that's all right we can do this what do we go with which that one wasn't it not that it really matters anyway don't don't just there you there, that gives us our loot recycler and we'll go and pop that down. Pop that down over here. I'll pop that on the opposite side to our... Uh, put that there like so. So I think if we're looking at stuff like... So it's all these sort of tools and things here that to be perfectly honest with you am i particularly bothered about those not really um so in theory if this works the way i think it does is that doing anything okay, stored at loot value oh okay so maybe you actually have to get a value of stuff. Now I don't really need to know how to use my dirt chest. Uh, we've got a whole load of bones and things but they're kind of useful. Feathers. Don't really need feathers. Don't need feathers at all. You can go away. Go away. Okay so it won't let us recycle those. So I'm guessing once we actually get enough enough items in here, so it's not letting us recycle everything, is it? But obviously, once we get enough items in there, um, what we can then do is actually get hopefully 
knee bags. I think that's how it works. Is that how it works? I'm sure we'll find out. I am sure we will find out. We'll just take that XP. Thank you very much. I will upload you. Awesome. Right. There we go. I think we should probably call it an episode at that point. Um, so, what I will probably look to do over sort of the next the next week or so, um, between now and the next episode anyway, is start to have a look and see what we can get together for our inventory system. So hopefully start getting a couple of the machines ready and uh, get things built and hopefully we can start getting sort of the first part of our better inventory system up and get rid of all of that unsightly mess both of those sides which will give us a bit of room for expanding um, because I do want to look as we were saying before to expand for the mystical agriculture um, and get Britannia started uh, that's an area that will probably need to be expanded as we grow with that as well um, and also just have a little bit of a, a better sort of farming area that we can we can use for gathering our resources but for now guys thank you all very much for watching hope you enjoyed it and we shall see you in the next one Take care.